Good afternoon and welcome to our vocational ceremony for the leadership course for advanced practice in public health. I'm Earl and I am your master of ceremonies for our ceremony this afternoon. And we would like to remind everyone of a few things. Number one, uh, we'd like to request um, all, of, all of you um, to keep your audio muted during the course of the completion ceremony. Make sure also that your uh, profile name displayed okay, uh, reflects your name registered with the program. We also appreciate seeing your beautiful faces during the entire course of our completion ceremony. And we hope that everyone would enjoy the activity as we all commemorate, meaningfully commemorate people power revolution today. Friends, it is with distinct honor that I introduce the members of the course team behind Nurse Lead. The core team led by Dean Sheila Bonito, the project director and course facilitator. This is Professor Josephine Cariasso, Associate Professor Luz Barbara Pampidones, yours truly. President Janie Sebastian, Julia Senna Glendris. Our course facilitators, coming from the pool of faculty from the College of Nursing, Assistant Professor Josephine Cariasso, President Janie Sebastian, Associate Professor Luz Barbara Dones, Jan Vincent de los Santos, Julia Sen Melendres, Assistant Professor Erwin William Leva, Dean Sheila Bonito, Assistant Professor Julian Ivan Soberano, yours truly, Multimedia and Technical Team, headed by Assistant Professor Ryan de Torres, Maria Patricia Mabale. Our teaching assistants who are products of Nurse Lee, Christian Antiquera, Mary Ann Millicent Castro, Jailene Fay Rojas, Carla May Aguinaldo, Marvin Gores, Rocky Tamaliga, Jose Andreline de la Cruz. April Joyce Caligaga, Harold Paulo Mejia, Erickson Bernard. Our resource persons, Dr. Cora Anunuevo, Dr. Erlinda Palaganis, Dr. Annabel Boromir, Dr. Feli Marilyn Lorenzo, Dr. Josefina Angel Estuazo, Dean Sheila Bonito, Associate Professor Luz Barbara Pambidones, Dr. Carlo Irwin Panelo, Maria Jeline Valenzuela, Dean Betty Merritt, Maria Rita V. Damse, Dr. Anthony Cordero, Assistant Professor Maria Angela Mabale, Assistant Professor Josephine Cariaso. In this very special day, may we invite everyone to honor our dear nation and let's together sing the Philippine National Anthem. Oh, 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 oh,
we'd like to call on the virtual floor Assistant Professor Josephine Cariaso, our project coordinator, to deliver the opening remarks on behalf of Dean Sheila Bonito. Good afternoon, everyone. So, Dr. Bonito uh, extends her uh, warmest congratulations to all of you. She's unable to be with us uh, with us today, but but uh, she expresses uh, her delight in the fact that after all this, after the six weeks, we've finally come to the end of our training, and you've all successfully finished the course. So uh, you've heeded our call to be part of our leadership program. So now we, uh, we will be bidding you goodbye because you will all be back in your communities and you'll all be doing the capstone projects that you have started doing while uh, we had our training program. So we hope that uh, today is, doesn't end your, uh, what do you call this? Doesn't end your concern and your great uh, desire to be of help to your communities. The capstone proposals that everyone has uh, submitted is a clear indication that you are all willing to be of assistance to your community. We welcome the new batch of leaders. And we hope that we will all be seeing you in the summit on March 28, 2.30. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ma'am Jo. We also like to acknowledge the presence of our resource persons joining us this afternoon, um, Ma'am Rita Tamse, Dr. Carlo Panello. At this point, let us hear it from the Chancellor of the University of the Philippines, Manila, an icon of public health herself for her message. EP College of Nursing Dean and Nurse Lead Coordinator, Dr. Sheila Bonito, faculty, staff, and students of the College of Nursing, graduates, guests, good afternoon. Today, we celebrate the third batch of nurses completed 148 hours of virtual sessions of the leadership course for advanced practice in public health nursing or nurse lead. Congratulations to our new nurse leaders who joined the first two batches of nurse leaders now better prepared and trained to serve the people. Since its launch on September 10, 2019, this has become a formidable program of the UP College of Nursing and Johnson & Johnson Global Community in Advanced Nursing Practice. Its focus on enriching the nurses' competencies and extending primary health care and other population-based health services is aligned well with our major health programs such as the Universal Health Care and sustainable development goals. Meanwhile, augmenting their skills in collaborating with relevant stakeholders and agencies in the management and delivery of PHC services and programs complement well the guidelines for the management of the COVID-19 pandemic. It is not surprising if nurse graduates of this program deployed in different communities are now being recognized as having contributed to the continuing reduction in cases the past few months. We commend the College of Nursing for fulfilling its, this task religiously as they are the kinds of health frontliners that are urgently needed today. This year alone, Several courses and trainings conducted by the college in partnership with the Department of Health and other groups 
have advanced the frontiers of nursing in a wide range of leadership areas. Their graduates are now practicing in different strategic places nationwide and sharing and influencing others to do the same. Essentially, nurses who are the main players in the UHC and SDG implementation are expected to bring a lot to the table in terms of advanced leadership abilities and training. Nurse Lead continues to prove to be a vital leader in this category. These unprecedented times call for no less than public health nurses adept at professional development, advocacy and interprofessional collaboration, and communication and teamwork. Filipinos deserve excellent nurse leaders and nurse lead is showing the way. Those who are able to manage effectively and efficiently public health interventions, provide integrated services along the continuum of care and are well-versed with the project management cycles and financial management principles are considered game changers. When I welcomed you last January, I mentioned that you will come out of this training, not just carers, but nurse leaders, educators, and now researchers. Now it is time for you to go out there and be health movers for a healthier Philippines. Once again, congratulations to all of you. The third batch of certified nurse leaders. The Filipinos are happy to be the beneficiaries of your commitment, training, and service. Pabuhay kayo mga bagong nurse lead graduates. Nawa ay biyayaan kayo ng may kapal, ng sigla, talino, at pagmamahal tungo sa makabuluhan, mahusay, at mapagkalingang serbisyo sa mga komunidad ng ating bansa. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Salamat po, Chancellor Padilla, sa pagkilala um, sa nakamit ng ating mga nurse leaders ngayong hapon at sa pagpapaalala ng mas malaking hamon na kanilang tutugunan simula sa araw na to. Next, let's hear it from our partners. Starting off with the Southeast Asia Lead for Johnson and Johnson Foundation, Wen Yi Tan for her message. Good day, honored guests, nurses, and attendees. It is an honor to be here today. My name is Wendy, and I am a part of Johnson & Johnson's Global Community Impact Team here in Asia. First off, congratulations from us here at Johnson & Johnson Foundation on completing the UPCN Nurse Lead Program. We wish we could be there with you. We are so excited to see the positive change that you'll be making in the years to come. At JNJ, we have a long legacy of supporting and championing nurses and the critical role they play in elevating healthcare systems worldwide. Frontline health workers, especially nurses, midwives, and community health workers, are often the first and only link between communities and health systems. Yet, we see that today's health workers, especially in the Philippines, continue to be challenged. Nurses in particular have been extremely challenged both by existing issues as well as the pandemic. It is no secret that there is a healthcare workforce crisis. Without action, the WHO's projected shortfall of nurses will be close to a quarter of a million by 2030 unless greater action is taken. But no one entity can tackle this crisis on their own. We are glad to ally with UPCN with their recognized strengths in nursing education. Our collaboration aims to support effective leadership and management. Nurse leadership is critical in strengthening the primary and community health systems at every level. And we are so pleased to support you, future leaders, through this program. Together, we can build and strengthen our health workforce to provide high quality care for everyone. We want to take this opportunity to wish you all the very, very best in your future endeavors. And thank you so much for all that you do. Thank you, Wen Yi, for investing in our nurses. 
let's hear it now from the Department of Health and representing um, Dr. Juanita Fandino, we'd like to call on the very member of this batch to deliver um, the message on behalf of the OIC of the Division Chief of Learning and Development of the Department of Health. May we call on the virtual floor, Ma'am Anna Lea. Let's give uh, Ma'am Anna Lea Di Patuan a warm of applause. Excuse me po, interrupting this program to, um, si Ma'am Anna po, wala po kayong audio as of now. We still can't hear you po. Hi, Ma'am Anna. We can still hear you. Are you using po, uh, a Bluetooth device? Maybe you can disconnect po muna from the your your earphone to the the to the laptop. Okay. Again, better. Good. Thank you. Sound check. Uh, am I being heard already, sir? Yes, yes Mama. Yes, Mama. Thank you. Thank okay. you uh, yes, thank you so much. I apologize for that technical uh, uh, in, ano no? uh, interference. So once again, uh, good afternoon everyone to our partners in the University of the Philippines. Uh, usual partner na po tayo. As well as to all the graduates of the Nurse Lead Batch 4. Pleasant afternoon to all of you. Uh, on behalf of our new director, Johanna Banzon of the Department of Health, Health Human Resource Development Bureau, as well as my division chief, Dr. Juanita Fandino. Uh, once again, we would like to resonate and extend another congratulations to all the graduates of the Nurse Lead. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, we already have almost 400 no, since the time that we collaborated uh, for the advocacy, for the uh, dissemination of this course no, that is uh, jointly conducted with the Johnsons and Johnsons and the University of the Philippines Nursing uh, College of Nursing. So uh, we are always pleased and opportune to collaborate uh, with UP College of Nursing, where we also collaborate with the continuous conduct of the leadership development course for public health nurses, as well as the same course for our public health midwives. So uh, similarly, nagpapasalamat kami to the Johnson & Johnsons for the support given to make our nurses always at their best in serving the Filipino nation as they too are leaders in the health sector and truly, truly crucial in health system strengthening. So uh, uh, with this, uh, congratulations once again and we hope that uh, Johnson & Johnson as well as UP College of Nursing uh, would continue this undertaking and uh, ma-extend ma po ito na at ma-saturate natin yung iba pa nating nurses and uh, your Department of Health through the Health Human Resource Development Bureau is uh, just here no, behind you, uh, side by side with you in order to reach more and more Filipino nurses for this program. Uh, once again, magandang hapon po and congratulations po sa inyong lahat. Yeah, thank you so much po, uh, Ma'am um, Dipatuan. And again, I would like to sincerely apologize. I would like to correct that uh, Ma'am Anna is 
a part of the uh, again batch, but again representing um, DOH. Okay, thank you so much for, for joining us. Now uh, let's hear it this time from the president of the National Association of Public Health Nurses for her message. Okay, Dr. Cora de los Angeles Ano Nuevo. Magandang hapon to public health workers and colleagues. Binabati ko ang mga participants na nakakompleto ng kursong Nurse Lead. Hindi dito nagtatapos ang inyong engagement dahil iniimbitahan namin kayo na maging kasapi ng isang specialty nursing organization. Ilan sa inyo ay miyembro na ng Philippine Nurses Association. As nurses, tayo po ay may responsibilidad. And this is to maintain loyalty to the development and growth of the nursing profession. Kung kaya't binuo natin ang National Association of Public Health Nurses. Ito ay um, isang organization na registered with the Securities and Exchange Commission on December 1, 2021. NAP, for short, was officially launched last April 7, 2022 during the Nurse Lead Summit held face-to-face -face in Clark, Pampanga. There are good reasons why we need a specialty organization of public health nurses. Foremost, we need to be united as one strong group whose members are bound by these objectives. First objective, raise the standard of public health nursing service by providing continuing professional education, training, and related experiences. I think it's high time we make known to the public our valuable contribution to the healthcare delivery system. Hindi masyadong kinikilala na ang public health nursing ay isang specialization. We are happy that you have enrolled in this course. This is an example of continuing professional education that will produce leaders in public health. Many of you, if not all, already have the skills to provide health services to individuals, families, and communities. It would be best if you enhance competencies to manage health units at different levels. Informatics, develop policies, design advocacy programs, self-regulation, and those topics you acquired from this course. The second objective or reason why we need NAPHN is for us to lead the development of public health nursing career pathways. So ano ang sabihin nito? We must chart our career in public health as advanced practitioners. We need to have a sense of professional autonomy in public health while working collaboratively, collaboratively with others. As professional spe specialty, we need the NAPHN to finalize the advanced practice in public health nursing according to the career progression and specialization program for nursing profession. Career pathway refers to progression to level seven or post baccalaureate nursing, which is the master's level or its equivalent, and level eight, doctoral level or its equivalent. Certification must be an advanced certification, an advanced practitioner in any specialty, including public health nursing. Certification signifies that specific competencies and expertise of the nurse. The PRC and the Board of Nursing issued the certification upon endorsement of the recognized and credentialed specialty organization. And in public health, that is the NAPHN. The third objective or reason is to establish networks and linkages with relevant national and international health agencies 
leading to a dynamic community of practice. The NAP HN can communicate and link up with public health organizations in the US, Europe, Asia, and WHO upon its formal recognition. Fourth, collaborate with other organizations and unify all sub-specializations of public health nursing. In the Philippines, we have public health nurses who are members of ONAP, uh, occupational uh, health nurses in the Philippines and LLPGN. You know that most of you are members of this. They retain, retain their membership in these organizations. We will attempt to unify ourselves in terms of mission and goals and directions to enrich our practice in different levels or subsectors in public health. Fifth, strengthen the link between public health nursing education, practice, and research. We understand this statement as these three aspects must closely intersect. Next, contribute to public health practice and policy decision making through evidence based research and projects relevant to implementing universal health care. Thanks to Nurse Lead, the advanced course we have completed in helping you achieve this objective. And the last, to advocate for the general welfare of public health and nurses. We need NAP HN to provide leadership and provide voice and visibility for public health nurses who deserve to be given just compensation, benefits, privileges, and recognition. So on behalf of the Board of Trustees, we invite you to become members of the NAP HN the first and only organization of public health nurses in the Philippines that is SEC registered. I would like to announce that we will hold our first general assembly and national convention on April 28, 9, uh, 2023, and that is Friday. Please visit the NAP FD page on the screen. And you can download the membership application form, which gives you also the instructions on how to go about it. Mabuhay kayo and see you again. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Ananuevo, for outlining the role of the National Association of Public Health Nurses in helping move forward our public health nursing as a community of professionals, as a critical mass for change. So again, we would like to extend our um, appreciation to all um, the personalities who shared um, their messages to greet okay, um, our nurse leaders on their completion okay, this afternoon. So shown on the screen is the link okay, where um, you can Okay, um, access. Okay, um, the instructions on membership and how to attend the upcoming national convention of the National Association of Public Health Nurses. At this point, we'd also like to recognize the presence of um, Dr. Josefina Angeles Tuazo and one of our resource persons for joining us. And again, we'd also like to um, thank Dr. Panelo and um, Mamrita Tansif for staying with us okay, for the completion ceremony. Moving forward, we are proud to share to all of you the areas of the country, the communities that you're serving for the coverage of Batch 4.
indeed the nation rejoices. For 57 nurse leaders who will continue serving their communities. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we present the candidates for our completion ceremony. Representing Luzon, Daniela Aguilar, Jeffrey Alcaraz, Sherry Lynn Veronica Ali, Maria Lee Alcuerdo, Olivia Azucena, Elaine May Bayaka, Efren Belen Jr. Brazil Ben, Leon Cabardo Dito, Darren Perini, John Eric Senso, Teresa May Pua, Arnie De Leon, Casandina De La Cruz, Arlene Florentino, Eliel May Galvo, Joy Zaira Gonzalez, Ruth Dinelis Lianis, Dan Saipo Lozano, Dennis Marco, Emeline Mayor, Kathleen May Noble Ram, Maria Sheila Nuevo, Raysan Palomado, Aliza Udo, Princess Lenny Rehan, Luzwininda Rivera, Charmaine Salas, Macmillan Tabulina, Michelle Abigail Tapoa, Maria Febes Uwil, Maria Rea Ilia, Jennifer Viraka, representing the Visayas, Maria Christine Amaral, Annie Beth Batiola, Jose Marie Barcelo, Ed Marie Bustamante, Marie Rose Therese Cabillo, Darlene Giselle Compendio, Christine Joy Tobias, Dale Lawrence Junisho, May Fatima Ituaba, Kate Macha, Marie Prim Nakapa, Dory Jean Nemeni, Sol Marie Nihaga, Mar Raving Pelay, Tara Jane Toledal, Tara May Suklan, Dossily Desalun, representing Mindanao, Irene Belhera, April Rose Ipaba, Irene Fontani, Robert Brian Lova, Dulce La Puesta, Gilbert Saturos Jr., Benelin Tolentino. Congratulations to our 57 graduates of Nurse Lean. We also like, okay, to recognize Ariel. Del Rosario, and we'd like to correct John Eric okay, Senson. Our apologies for that. Again, congratulations to all of you. Each of you will be receiving a completion certificate, and I have the honor to read it. Citation reads.
the University of the Philippines Manila College of Nursing, a World Health Organization collaborating center for leadership in nursing development in partnership with Johnson & Johnson Foundation, awards a certificate of completion to our public health nurse for participating and complying with the requirements for the nurse lead leadership course for advanced practice in public health nursing given today with a duration of 140 hours with 45 credit units signed by the program coordinator assistant professor Joseph Inderio Cariaso and signed by the dean and program director professor Dr. Sheila R. Bonito. So congratulations again to our nurse leaders for achieving this milestone. We'd like to call back on the virtual um, stage Assistant Professor Josephine Inderio Cariaso, the coordinator for the nurse lead um, program to recognize our institution partners. Ma'am Jo, good afternoon. Good afternoon once again. The uh, nurse lead program wouldn't have taken off if not for the help of these uh, people. So we have Johnson Johnson Foundation, Global Community Impact. Let the, let, the cert, uh, let me read the certificate. So um, the University of the Philippines, Manila College of Nursing, a WHO collaborating center for leadership and nursing development. Uh, this is a certificate of appreciation given to Johnson & Johnson Foundation Global Community Impact for sharing this, their invaluable service as corporate partner in the nurse lead leadership course for advanced practice in public health nursing. Held uh, January 13 to March 1, 2023. Together with Johnson & Johnson, we have Johnson & Johnson Philippines, which has uh, the same citation in their certificate. We also had the Department of Health, Health Human Resource Development Bureau. So they were our invaluable service uh, partner, national partner in this nurse leadership course for advanced practice in public health nursing. Thank you so much, Ma'am Jo. At this point, we'd like to invite everyone to listen to the messages of our own graduates coming across all regions of the country. Starting off with John Eric Senson. Thank you, Sir Earl. So good afternoon. Um, it's my pleasure to take this opportunity to share my thoughts and insights to give a message to the completion ceremonies of Nurse Lead, leadership course for advanced practice in public health nursing, year two, batch four. The beginning of a new year brings a lot of energy and enthusiasm to each and every one. As a public health nurse, I'd like to take on challenges that I can do it. My way of thinking is that I can take both success and failure in a balanced manner. The leadership course improves knowledge transfer through three stages before, during, and after. I have learned that nurse leaders can influence colleagues towards the achievement of organizational goals and excellence. Through this online leadership training, I can use this to empower my voice and exercise different strategic techniques that I had learned. It will help a lot to encourage people to avail the free health services of the local government unit combined with the efforts of the national government. I can also apply these leadership techniques in communities to educate them about what it takes to be healthy and to learn from them to improve public health interventions. To the course team and sponsors, your contribution is vital to continue our important work as public health nurses. 
I just wanted to express our deep gratitude for your dedication. We cannot succeed without the generosity of supporters like you. And I, as a completer of the online training course, hope to continue the mission of helping professionals to educate and apply those learnings for professional and career growth. Maraming maraming salamat po. Thank you, John Eric. Let's hear it from another, okay, graduate. This time, we call on Jose Marie Barcelo. Hello, good afternoon. Mayad nga hapon sa tanan. Coming from the Visayas group. Uh, we finally come to the, uh, the closure of our six weeks learning from the nursery program. But as we transition ourselves with the devolution of the health services, with the implementation of the universal healthcare law, we public health nurses are actually in the forefront as key players in the effective implementation of its programs, projects, and activities so that we can achieve its, its desired health outcomes. And with the course contents of the nursing program, it is carefully thought and outlined in sense in a context that it highlights the significance of leadership, management, and collaboration, which I believe are tool for us to effectively perform our roles as, as public health nurses in the said transition. I used to believe before that to become a nurse, especially choosing the road less taken, which is community health nursing or public health nursing in that sense. It is only limited to delivery of basic health services and the submission of reports. But if there's significant learning that I, I'll take away from this program is my appreciation of the 10 essential public health nurses in which we will perform. I believe that all the core competence, competencies in leadership, management, and collaboration comes across all these services. And it is my takeaway that we public health nurses we are not one or two dimensional, but we are more than that. And it is only through effective or great uh, transformational leadership, a good or outstanding managerial skills, and most importantly, a good collaboration with partners and stakeholders that we can perform those public health services. And let me take this opportunity in behalf of the 18 newly nurse leaders from the Visayas, our appreciation to the Johnson Johnson Foundation for the funding support in the University of the Philippines, Manila College of Nursing, headed by Dean Chile Bonito, and of course, the program coordinator, Ma'am Josephine Carriaso, for, for this special program that really molded us to become better versions of ourselves. And of course, to our course team, to our esteemed lineup of uh, course lecturers for sharing their knowledge, their expertise, or their field of specialization that help us to become effective and efficient public health leaders. And of course, we would like to uh, give acknowledgement and appreciation also to our course facilitators, our group facilitators, our teaching assistants, and of course, the technicals behind this program whose guidance and patience in assisting us in terms of completing our capstone projects really help us through surviving this journey. And of course, to our, uh, to my batchmates, to batch four, nursery batch four, the mere fact that we showed our interest last December in, in submitting our application and surviving the six weeks of online platform, juggling both this, the compliance and the demand at work is already a testament with that challenge, with that question that if we are ready for change and we are ready for that change and we are the change by starting within ourselves. And let, let's take this opportunity offered to us since not all were given this rare opportunity to, to help us improve our, the health outcomes of our constituents or the people that we serve or the community that we serve and be the change 
be that someone who can lead a positive impact to every individual, family, and community. And of course, we take that one step at a time, starting with our capstone projects. So we wish you good luck. <laughs> and congratulations to each and everyone. And looking forward to see you all in the summit. Good afternoon. Thank you, Jose Marie. Yeah, para sa bayan. And would like to call on our next graduate. Rod Brian Glova. Rod, good afternoon. Hello, sir. Good day. I have prepared a video. I have submitted it last time. Hello, everyone. I am Rod Brian E. Glover, currently working as nurse 2 in the Department of Education, Schools Division of Iligan City, located adjacent to the province of Lanao del Norte, Region 10, Mindanao. Today, I am tasked to give a short message for our completion ceremonies. My warm greetings and my deepest respect to the administrators and staff of the University of the Philippines, Manila College of Nursing, the course team of Nurse Lead, and sponsor Johnson & Johnson, and also to my fellow Nurse Lead scholars, good day. Fellow nurses, in the Department of Education shift from a traditional school nurse role for, for being a mere frontline health service provider in schools to now nurse coordinators, managers, advocates, collaborators of the different health and nutrition programs and projects of the Department of Education, also known as the Oplan Kalusugan Sedeped or OKD. About my view on the course, I find the topics being undertaken as important, basic, and essential in public health nursing. It would also be useful if these concepts are discussed in trainings, not only to the newly hired public health nurses, but also to the incumbent patients as well, since these topics include public health nursing theories, basic principles, standards of public health nursing, and what the expectations being public health nurses. I surely learned a lot from the course. Being a leader is innate to us public health nursing practitioners. But before this course, our roles in the public health setting are not really well defined. Even though we do leadership, management, and collaboration on a day-to-day -day basis. This course provided me with meaning to what we do as public health nurses. I realized that nurses are not merely physicians' aid and that nurses are able leaders, especially in the public health setting. Public health nurses are now viewed as capable, proactive, innovative, strategic, and system thinkers, agents to change, helps in the development of health policies, and population health advocates. The course guides us participants in the standards of public health nursing practice in this generation. The learnings in this course will help me in my role as the current division coordinator of the school-based freedom program and a designated nurse in charge of the school health section, given the topics on program management, financial management, on how to be a strategic and systems thinker, how to be innovative, how we can do positive change in the health system within my agency. Learn processes, templates, steps, and tools will be useful in my role as program coordinator. The capstone project made me realize that in our existing different health programs, there are still things that we can change, positively change, 
to provide a more effective and efficient health services to the community. I would like to sincerely thank all people behind this innovative course, Nurse Lee. I am very fortunate and privileged to be included in this endeavor. I would also like to express my congratulations to my fellow Nurse Lee Scholars, Year 2 Batch 4, for reaching this far in our journey towards advanced practice public health nurses. I hope that the program will continue to prosper and expand so that the more public health nurse leaders from around the country who have limited access to such wonderful learning program will be served towards an effective public health system serving all Filipinos. As I end, I would like to quote inspiring words from a famous playwright, Anton Chekhov. Wisdom comes not from age, but from education and learning. Once again, thank you and God bless everyone. See you all in the summer. Bye. Hello. Hello. Thank you, Brian. This time, let's hear it from Maria Lee Alpuerto. If teaching is the most noble profession, nursing is the most dignified and magnanimous vocation we can ever dedicate our lives to, and we prove that peace during the pandemic. Good day, everyone. Maayong adlaw sa tanan. First of all, allow me to thank the University of the Philippines, Manila, College of Nursing, Nurse Leadership Course for this opportunity to be with you today. To my Department of Education, Bureau of Learning Support Services, Family, especially our then Director, Lope B. Santos III, our present Director, Dr. Ninette Esplana Alama, our Chief of the School Health Division, Dr. Maria Corazon Dumlao, for granting me to join the short course of UPCN Nurse Leadership in Advanced Public Health Nursing. Thank you. The UPCN Nurse Leadership course for me is not just a training program that caters the needs of nurses, serving in the community and the population with health needs, but it is a platform that strengthens nurses like me who chose to deliver health services among the population at risk. The competencies in leading the health team and the strategies of being a good program manager for primary health care services allows public health practitioners to be effective and efficient in addressing the wide array of challenges in our health system. This course is doing a great job in educating public health nurses to take the lead in providing services and programs that is also sustainable and resilient amidst adversities. The lessons learned in the three salient modules were noteworthy. The fact that to be a, a formational or transformational leader, one also has to be strategic in fulfilling the duties and responsibilities accorded to her aiming to reach the target for the success of the team and its mission. We are reminded that leaders were not born to be one, but honed and molded through time, coupled with continuous professional development. The 10 essential public health services, which is to protect and promote the health of all people and communities, together with the Project Management Knowledge Areas, or the PIMBOK, served as our roadmap to visualize our daily undertakings in terms of our work as public health practitioners. It keeps us posted and remind ourselves to serve those people in need and their families and the whole community with equity and equality. As the technology advances, it is also imperative that public health practitioners shall seek opportunities to grow professionally and UPCN Nurse Lead made the difference. The program obviously helped us in keeping up to the new dynamics of healthcare 
and practice, especially under the universal health care law. It is also provided or provided us technical assistance in policy development, planning for programs that is essential in the communities we serve. Moreover, the UPCN Nurse Lead equipped us to act as navigators, coordinators, and the initial and continuing point of contacts for different stakeholders to facilitate better health service delivery. With all that being said, on behalf of my co-nurse leaders, specifically in the National Capital Region, my salute to the University of the Philippines Manila College of Nursing Nurse Leadership Course Coordinator, Professor Josephine Cariaso and her team, and the Johnson's and Johnson's Foundation for facilitating this informational course. And you just sent an important message to the universe that every nurse counts and no one shall be left behind. Rest assured that what you have taught to us in this short period of time will stay forever in our hearts. And personally, I commit to remain competent in providing health service delivery to improve the quality of one's life, especially in the community that I serve, the schools and our learners. Padayon og daghang salamat UPCN Nurse Leadership Program. Padayon UPCN Nurse Leaders. Serve with honor and excellence. Thank you, Nat. And to the rest okay, of our graduates who represented the batch for their messages. May we all draw inspiration from each other in making health for all a reality that we may lead okay, our nation to be truly empowered for health. We move on to the next part of the program. And um, as mentioned earlier, I'd like to call on all of you to register on the link sent through your emails and confirm your participation to our upcoming Nurse Lead Summit um, to be held at Clark okay, in Pampanga. So it will run from March 28 to 30, culminating on a community engagement um, activity okay, where we hope that all of you can translate okay, all your learnings in serving okay, our select communities no? okay, in the area. And we look forward to hearing you present your capstone okay, project proposals. So here's a glimpse of what to expect on our summit. Likewise, we'd like to ask everyone to accomplish okay, our course evaluation survey provided okay, on our course site. And the link is also shown on the screen. You can also access it okay, later okay, in our chat box. Okay, and this will help us improve our program offerings. Yeah. So again, our appreciation again to our partners okay to our collaborators okay to our resource persons teaching assistants and the rest okay for joining our session and we'd like to ask everyone to open their cameras for a photo opportunity and don't forget okay um your Okay, attendance certificate is also available 
online, just click the link shared on okay, um, our chat box. So, Sir Ryan. Okay, sige po. I'll take photos na po. Uh, um, okay. Sige, kindly uh, give your best panels. I have three panels. Okay, one, two, three. Next panel po. One, two, three. Okay. Last panel. One, two, three. Okay po. Thank you, Sir Ryan. So we give each other a big round of applause, okay, for this achievement. And to formally end our completion ceremony this afternoon, we would like to call on the virtual floor the assistant to the Dean of the College of Nursing of the University of the Philippines, Manila and a member of the core okay, team of Nurse Lead, Associate Professor Luz Barbara Pambidones. Ma'am Luz, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Dr. Carmen Cita Padilla, Chancellor of UP Manila Health Sciences Center. Dr. Sheila Bonito, the Dean of UP College of Nursing and Project Director of Nurse Lead. Dr. Juanita Fandino, representing the Department of Health. Ms. Wen Yitan of j, j Global Community Impact, NAFNI President Cora Año Nuevo, our nurse lead resource persons, facilitators, and teaching assistants, um, UP College of Nursing faculty, and the VIPs of this occasion, the 57 public health nurses from all over the country who are completing the course today, a pleasant good afternoon. In our lives, there are always beginnings and endings. New beginnings provide opportunities to create change, to improve status quo, or recreate or replicate successful experiences. Endings do not necessarily mean death or conclusion of something being finished or done with, but endings are promises of hope and rebirth. Beginnings and endings are milestones. Your participation in the Nurse Lead Leadership Course for Advanced Practice in Public Health Nursing Year two is both a beginning and ending for each of you. It is a milestone and it deserves congratulations. You are reborn with new skills and competencies in leadership, management, and collaboration. And you are now ready to change your work environment to better serve the people. As we celebrate the public health nurses completing their course amidst many challenges, we also wish to acknowledge the support that the UP College of Nursing received in order to launch this course. The local government units, which allowed official time for our public health nurses to participate in this course. We hope that the capstone projects that your nurses made will see fruition as they are considered their best contribution to making the UHC work in your locality. We also thank our precious partners, the Department of Health, j, j for the funding support that made possible for UP Manila to translate honor and excellence in our public service and to help build an excellent yet relevant and responsive healthcare de delivery system for all. As we celebrate the People Power Revolution tomorrow, let me end this program by quoting for Florel, who wrote about nursing activism. She said that if the primary responsibility of nursing is commitment to the patient, whether an individual, family, group, community, or population, nurses must include activism as an intervention to address, uh, to address health inequities. This type of activism moves nursing from a more passive but supportive role to one of taking action to influence change. Nurse Lead is all about this type of activism. Thank you very much. Padayon Gihap and see you all in Subic Clark uh, for the Nurse Lead Summit. Marami pong salamat, Ma'am Luz. At para sa lahat, isa pong makabuluhang paggunita sa pagbabalik ng demokrasya sa Pilipinas, mabuhay po tayong lahat.